Here's the gold. But where's the rest? When and if you find her. You know how much more you owe? A hundred ounces, like we agreed on. No, two hundred. That's our new agreement. Glad to see that this time we convinced you. But if you think our price is too high for you, arrange it with them yourself. The Mexicans refused the gold. They wanted instead to buy guns, but I don't have any more guns to sell. We aren't interested in your affairs. And you just better make sure you pay the other half. Adios! Adios! Ah! Put those away. I don't want to pay for your funerals. Ah. Them two are Ringo Carson and Frank Sanders. <laughs> Everything's ready. I guess. <laughs> Did you understand all right? Hmm, as well as I could. What you say about the signal seems I forgot. Do the same as you did in River City. In River City? You remember? Yeah, I couldn't forget that. The Mexicans had a pretty hot time of it, didn't they? <laughs>
taking over the watch for Miguel. Ready to get going. Uh -huh. Ringo, I found her. Go get your horse. dollar says they won't get her back here. They're going to bring her back. You just wait and see. Uh, say they get an offer from the Mexicans for more money. Don't you think they'll just walk out on you? They say that Sanders and Carson are men you can trust. I don't think they'd go back on their word of honor because they're not like you. Go and tell Mama Carson that Ringo's in town. With you. Welcome. Mm, you owe me a hundred dollars. Now, Jane, I am sorry about this little mix-up, honey. They didn't harm you, did they? No, but it wasn't a picnic, Paul. The whole thing was revolting, as usual, mm. and I won't do it again. A bit of whiskey, Miss Jane? All right. Yes, hey, sir, it's good for what ails you. <laughs> First, I was taken by cattle rustlers. The second time, by Indians. Just to get you to pay ransom. I'm getting tired of being your daughter. Oh, I'm sorry, Jane. It won't happen again. I promise. Now, you better go upstairs and get cleaned up. I've got some business to discuss. <laughs> What do I owe you? Hmm? Are you deaf? <laughs> you don't remember? Uh, let me see. Two hundred ounces of gold, welcome. Uh, that's all. Oh. And say I uh, decided not to pay you. <laughs> Joining in. No. That's enough. What's going on here, Welcome? Uh, they want gold. A lot more than we agreed on in the first place. I'm not interested. <laughs> I don't like disorder in this town.
Happy to see a peace-loving banker instead of the sheriff. As you well know, Ringo, our sheriff is unfortunately dead. <laughs> Bad accident? We'll talk about that some other day. Having a nice, quiet town is in the bank's interest, and my clients, too. <laughs> Your clients. At the funeral company. Isn't that right, Daniels? Enough of that, Ringo. Let's just get the gold. Pay it, welcome. No, pay them! <laughs> you were lucky tonight, Miss Jane. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Uh, now, wait. Oh, uh, seven. I uh, told you to cheat the customers. Uh, you robbed my daughter instead. Sorry, Mr. Watson. Seven, I'll be eight, careful. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. She won all that money. Yes, sir. Up. I'm not a thief. I'm an honest man. Now, I'm going. Hey, good night, one and all. On. Good night. Good night. If I can never be of service, yeah, just give me a buzz on the buzzer. Uh, Miss Jane and... Get uh, going. Uh, yes, I'm on my way. I'm going. I'm on my way. <laughs> good night, Paul. Have a good sleep, honey. <laughs> good night, Good night, Missy Jane. Good night, boys. Kitty all alone. <laughs> oh! 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 Get out! Get out of here, you! Where is you gonna? Kiss the man who almost got killed for you. You've already been paid by my father. I don't owe you a thing. I'd have done it for nothing. If it wasn't for Ringo. <laughs> Stop acting so angry. It's no act. I didn't ask you any favors. You're not my personal bodyguard. I'd like to be, Jane. <laughs> You're real beautiful. I have a lot of gold. And you could use my protection. <laughs> You left me alone, Frank. Keep your protection. You keep your protection. For somebody else. I will, Jane. You'll need it someday. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, Jane. Why was I rescued by Frank and not you? I'm a better shot. I made Frank do it because it was easier. He won't let me alone. He's been pestering me. <laughs> what do you mean, pestering you? You know what I mean. <laughs> He's just being arrogant. Well, I don't like it. If my father hadn't given you the gold, would you have saved me? I don't think so. You're as arrogant as Frank is. <laughs> You know I want to marry you. No! Get out! Leave me alone! Let me go, please. Please, Ringo. Don't make me suffer because you know me like this. Well, that doesn't mean that you can just... treat me like some girl off the street. I love you, Ringo. matter? Have problems? Can I do something, Frank? Don't get smart, Ringo. Just what do you mean, chasing her? <laughs> That's your trouble. When you can't have something, you don't want anybody else to have it. Right, Frank? For that girl, well, that's plenty. A woman isn't worth it. Okay. Adios, Ringo. Adios, Frank. Adios. It had to happen between you two, Ringo. It's just as well. Mama Carson wants to see you. You've got to go. Stay out of this thing, Tom. When she threw me out, she told me she could manage by herself. She's a strong woman. This time I'm through with her. That all happened between you a long time ago. This may be your last opportunity. Don't let it go by for her sake. I said no. Ringo, she's your mother.
listen to me. Like a son? No. You're working as a hired gun? All right. I'll hire you. And I'll pay you more than the others. How much, Mother? Enough for you to keep my land away from Daniel's. It costs a lot of money. You can't pay my price. <laughs> I might have known. You haven't got any conscience, have you? Don't you know that this is land your father paid for with his blood? You should have thought about that three years ago. When you threw me out of the house like a thief. But it was your fault, son. Please forget the past. Please. Come back here and live like you should. As head of the family, please, Ringo. For your father's sake. And for mine. All right, Mom. I knew it. You're a good boy. But what about your friend Frank Sanders, the Texan? We won't be seeing him anymore. It's better that's over. But what action will you take against Daniel? Ah, don't worry, Mama. Daniels is a coward. He's a big shot because he's a rich banker. He'd never attack us personally, especially now that we're together again. And about time, too, son. Listen, Mom. What would you think if I got married? <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Married. <laughs> you married. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it was wonderful. <laughs> Is it a girl or a boy? A bouncing boy. Does he look like me? No. But just the same, he's a walk'em. You tell him, Uncle. Southerners are shooting up Lesterville. You've got to go. you got to do something. Oh. Tom, get a posse together. Right. Let's go, boys. I'll be back soon, Mom. <laughs> Will you bring me a rebel hat, Pa? <laughs> sure, I will. <laughs> Ringo, we're waiting.
go. Over there. I can't see anymore. I'm blind. I'm blind, Frank. I can't see you. No worry. <laughs> You'll be all right, friend. Whatever happened to him, Tom? The roof caved in. He was inside. All right, men. Take him to Stone City. Nobody will bother us there. They don't have a sheriff anymore. Mrs. Carson. I'm very sorry, but it isn't my problem to look after. Frank Sanders, why have you come back? <laughs> Frank, <laughs> it's been a long time. Looks like the war didn't do you much harm. Too bad what happened to Ringo. But I don't see the Carsons much these days. Even my own daughter stays away from me. Says I'm a bad influence on her son. Calls me an old gun runner. Why are you back in town? I'm heading for River City. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Frank. Now that Ringo's blind, we ain't got a sheriff. When he was sheriff, I wasn't able to sell guns to the Mexicans. But with a sheriff like you... I cost too much, Walkham. I wouldn't do it. Unless you pay what I want. Maybe we could come to some kind of an agreement. Huh? <laughs> Now, now, wait, 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 wait a minute, friend. Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Here you are. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> At least we can talk it over, Frank. It'll be worth your while. The right man as sheriff could do pretty well for himself. Think it over. Oh, Daniels. I want you to meet Frank Sanders. Save the introductions, Walton. I already know him. 
Yes, it's the same Frank Sanders. I have a proposition for you, Frank. I'm not interested. I'm not a businessman. That's a fast refusal. But I'll overlook it. My bank is interested in getting possession of three certain pieces of land. But the owners can't be persuaded to sell. Keep talking, Daniels. There's gold there, Frank. Gold. Plenty. The owners of the land are Mama Carson, Doc Wise, and Cy Osborne. I want that land under my supervision to be mine for gold. And what do I do? I'll give you the sheriff's job. But in return, you can forget everything that you see and hear. <laughs> All right, it's clear. I think we'll come to an understanding. Always be blind. There have been other cases similar to this one where, at a later time, another blow on the head has been able to restore the sight. But it's nearly impossible. There's nothing more I can do right now. See that he gets his rest. Yes. Thank you, Doctor. Mama. Yes, dear. I'm rested, all right. But I'm afraid I can't help you anymore. No, Ringo. We've got to help out each other. You recover, son. You wait. I'll help you too, Pa. I'll take care of you. Send this telegram. So now you're the sheriff, eh, Frank? I like the way you're handling things. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to horn in on your game. I just want you to look the other way when I send out a shipment of guns. You won't notice it, will you? Do you ever see Ringo? No, and I don't want to see him. I saved his life once. Now I'm not going to worry about him. Uh, I know I shouldn't have any hard feelings towards him. But I do. Not really, because you can't. You aren't like that, Walcom. So quit acting like such a big baby. <laughs> the situation gets worse every day. We're losing more and more of the population. Nobody has the strength to stand up against Daniels. And not until I pay my debts can I even think about any new operations for mine and my land. It's certainly in our interest for all of us to work together. So, Mrs. Carson, I'm glad to accept your proposal. Wise, you'll go of along? Of course I'll go along. Here are the deeds to the land. Do you agree, Ringo? I agree, Mom. I have no choice. I must agree. No, Ringo. That is not true. Because I'm turning over to you this strong box with all the deeds in it. We're going to make this city the way it was when your father originally founded it. And we're going to fight. At last, Mama Carson has gotten together with Osborne and Wise. She turned the deeds over to Ringo to keep in the safe. Remember, you said you'd pay me, sir. Mm 
Osborne and Wise have joined Mama Carson. Maybe it's too risky. Even if it is, I'm going to do it. You're just as stubborn as ever. I'm sure we did the right thing. We'll be much stronger working together. This city is now overrun with killers. And you're at the head of them, Daniels. The death of Osmond and Wise won't stop me from going ahead with my plans. Here's the rest of the money that was owed to you by my husband. Where did you get this money? You'll never find out. Now, may I have my receipt? Pleasure. It's all in order, as are all my affairs. You can be a witness to this, Jane. I wanted us to be friends, and perhaps do business together. No, Daniels, I don't want to be your friend. Too bad, too bad. You could invest your capital in the bank and enjoy a secure and steady income. When we start mining... Don't talk to us about mining. We know your business methods. They always seem to work. They may, but you wait. Get this straight, Daniels. I'll never sell out to you, no matter how much you threaten. We don't scare that easy. And if you try to get my land away, I'll fight. Did you hear that? She leaves us no choice. She's going to regret it. Frank, send three of the boys and get me those deeds. And get rid of Mama Carson.
Indeed, they ain't in here. Take a look upstairs. Someone's coming. <gasps> Frank said not to kill her. Ah! The three men! Jane! Man. Mom! Oh, Where are you? Help! Rango! And Jane, she fainted. No, Ringo, don't. Where are they? Take me to Jane. Stop it! Murder them all! Stop it! Oh, Jane! There's nothing Where you can do. Where's no, my... Ringo, no.
to anybody. I'm going to pretend I'm blind. Oh. <laughs> Take guns and ammunition to Indian Hill. I'm almost certain those murderers are there. I want you to know, Ringo, I feel very bad about your mother's death. I sure hope I can get those killers. You're a good sheriff. It'll be easy to spot the killers. You can do it alone. Can't you tell me anything about it? Sorry. I can't help you. Mrs. Carson, can you tell me anything? No, I can't. You realize whatever you tell me makes it easier. Isn't that right, Ringo? I want to find the killers of your mother. I'm sure you'll find the killers. There they are. There are three of them. They're the ones who killed your mother. Now I'm going to kill them. Take care. Ringo. How did you get out here, Ringo? You want to find out who killed your mother? Huh? That's a hard thing for a blind man to try. Don't think it was personal. We did it only for the money. We're poor, see? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy and I found the bodies right out in the street. We traced the tracks all the way back to the cave where the boys were hiding out. Somehow they were discovered. But Ringo's blind. The Carsons have got revenge. Three of my best men are dead and I still haven't found out where those deeds are. They're gonna be very hard to find. Ringo's sharp. We have to work fast, Daniels. The latest government dispatch. The government has granted the landowners a complete judicial inquiry. Read it. No, I don't need to. I have a plan. And it'll work. A member of the family has always attended the tribal ceremony, Mr. Carson. Stop that. Stop that. Every year, my mother was present. This year, I'll be there. Thank you. Good afternoon, ma'am. Let me go. Quit it. Can 
I go with you, Pa? He's just a boy, Ringo. Unless you prefer he win, I'd rather have him stay home here tonight. Oh, please, can I go? He's old enough to understand. Tom, take him upstairs. Ever since that terrible night, you've been strange. Not like you were, Ringo. What is it? Tell me. Nothing, Jane. Tell me the truth. Nothing. Why didn't you shoot? I thought you wanted him alive. 
Ringo's still my friend. Hmm? If we don't get those deeds, it's the end of the bank. I want Ringo and bring him here. as soon as I can, all right? Mm -hmm. Now get back in there and keep still. Listen, Jane, where did you and Ringo put the box with the deeds? I'll never tell you. You'll tell. Are you threatening? You tell me where the box is or uh, your son will die! No! Your husband isn't blind, Jane. It was just a game. The biggest fake is Ringo. He's run away, do you know that? You're lying, Frank. He hasn't run away. And I'm sure if he can see, then you're afraid. You're afraid, Frank! He'll make you pay for Mama Carson's death. You're both equal now. And he'll find you and he'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stupid. You think Daniels can be beaten by one man? Jane, I want you to be free. Won't you even listen? Just listen to me a minute. I once loved you. Now just give me what I wish. And your son will again be free. No. Never. You silly old man. That'll teach you a lesson. Now get out of here. She's my daughter. And she's under arrest. Here are the guns. Thanks, God. Wait here.
hands up. It's you, welcome. What are you doing here? But, Tito, you get more and more stupid every day. <laughs> now get yourself upstairs. Go on, march! Oh. Mm. Willie! Oh, Willie! Where did they put you, Willie? Willie! Oh. Hey, Willie, come on out. No! What do you mean, no? Come out and hurry up about it. Just like your mother's. And you're a bad old grandfather, too. What did you say? What did you say? Grandfather. I'm sure that's the first time I ever heard you say that. They're holding her prisoner, yes, but I'll be there to protect her. And don't forget, Willie, you're going to help me. Aren't you, Willie? Aren't you? Yes, Grandfather, I will. <laughs> I will. They're going to attack tonight, led by Frank. If we draw them into the cave, better chance of winning. Ringo, in the cave, there's something left over from the war. I think it'll prove useful. Well, what is it? Now, you wait. You'll see. I'm not telling. Jane, Daniel's men want to kill you. The only way you can stop it is if I've got the deeds. Otherwise, I can't help you. Or your son. He'll suffer the same thing. You'll never find my son. <laughs> We've already got him. He's safe. Only I'm not going to tell you just where the boy's hidden now. Because you're helpless, Jane. You can't do anything against Daniel. I can try. It won't do you any good to attempt to fight him. You'd be sorry for yourself and for your son. I'd like to help you. Please, I... I love you. I love you! No! No, Frank, let me alone. Please don't touch me. If you don't want me to touch you, I won't. Hey, 
This way. Do the trick. Uh, too many of them. Once it saved my life. Remember how it works this time? Well, I'll try. It's all I can do. You take care of the wound. Give Doc Clark any help he needs. Right. Come on, boys. It's impossible to capture Ringo in that valley. He just about massacred our men. Use your head, Frank. For you, it'd be a change. We don't have the time. There's enough. Now you listen. Maybe we've come to the end. So you think it's that bad? You and your crooked friend. I got no intention of quitting, Daniels. Anyhow, don't take it out on me. I'm with you. You've made the right choice, Walcom. I still want the deeds, Frank. And remember, there's just one more day to get my hands on them. Tomorrow, the Federal soldiers arrive. I am sure you'll find it very difficult to prove your honesty. And for you too, Daniels. And for your bank. <laughs> Quite a proposition. You're the man that Daniel said would be willing to make some money. It's a damn good opportunity. <laughs> have a cigar, friend. All you have to do is take a little message to Ringo. That's uh, easy enough, isn't it? There's only one reason I'm interested, and that's my wife. She wants a buggy. And what she wants goes. What's the salary? A hundred dollars. Oh, that ain't much. I'd be risking my life if I went out to find Ringo. A hundred and fifty. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fine. <clears throat> I hope I can get back for the buggy ride. <laughs> Tell me what to ask him. <laughs> That's a fine way to greet a man, a fine way. Throw your gun uh, down. It ain't loaded anyhow. And keep your hands up. Can I talk now? What do you want? I don't... I don't want anything. Only Daniels, the banker, does. A messenger only brings a message. Huh? <laughs> he said that... that Mrs. Carson, she was going to get killed unless you turn over the deeds. 
And Walcom sent a message, too. He said that William, you remember who he is, that's your son, will be all right. But Daniels knows where he's hiding. All finished. Kill him. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's your hurry? You want to kill me? Go ahead and do it. Kill me. <laughs> you see? He's got your meaning. He's intelligent. <laughs> There's something I want to tell you, and I think it's my duty. I found out the way the boys are going to attack you. And for a little consideration... Okay, Tom. Take him to the camp. Can I put my hands down now? Sure. Uh, go ahead. Can I pick up my hat? Ahead. I'll hang on to this. Let's go. <laughs> Listen. Know where I can get any dynamite? <laughs> it's the usual question of money. Everything ready? Yep. Alonso really came through for us. You remember what to do. Don't worry. Still, I want to wish you luck this time. It might not be as easy as skin a polecat put her there. Ah, don't say that. It'll be easy. So long, Tom. on his way here. <coughs> I'll take care of you later. <coughs> now, Sheriff, we have one more chance. <coughs> Ringo must give us the deeds. Find out where the hiding place of the deeds is. That's your job. Unless you're still friends. I'll be curious to find out. I'll force it out of him. If I got to, you can be sure of that.
Ringo, watch out! Sanders! Ringo, there's one thing I want. The deeds. the deeds. You find them. Want to play a game for the deeds? What's your stake? My life and the gold. I'm not interested in gold. Name your game. Bullet exchange. Are you ready? Ready. So that's it, huh? <laughs> I can't seem to hit you, Ringo. <laughs> You're finished, Ringo. <laughs> Tell me where the deeds are. <laughs> or I'll kill you. <laughs> Ringo, this is our last chance. Frank, I've got you. I wasn't going to kill you, Ringo. I've got you. Ringo, look out! It's Daniels! 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 